After solving the problem of the gravitational field derived from the gravitational potential, I thought it would be nice to actually visualize it. Do you remember this Mathematica applet which I used to explain the gradient? So I could choose some scalar field in two dimensions, which is given by the height of this yellow surface. And then you can calculate the gradient, and this will be the red arrows. And you remember that I could change the function to different things, right? So I have added here now the gravitational potential, which is equal to minus 1 divided by r. So you can see that indeed this yellow surface is now the, like the potential of a point mass, and it's going to 0 when you go to infinity, and at the origin, which is somewhere here, the potential is going to minus infinity because it's minus 1 divided by r. So then when you calculate the gradient of this potential, you are getting these arrows which are pointing in the direction of steepest ascent and whose length is proportional to the gradient at that point, right? I mean, proportional to the slope at that point. So you can see that the arrows near the mass are longer than the arrows that are further away from the mass. And as we just calculated, the length of those arrows is proportional to 1 divided by r squared, okay? So this is the gradient of the gravitational potential, but of course if you do the minus gradient, you would just reverse the direction of all of these arrows, and this would represent the gravitational field of a mass. So when you are far away from the mass, the gravitational field is pointing towards the mass, but it's very weak, and as you get closer and closer, the gravitational field gets stronger and stronger and it's pushing you towards the mass okay so this is a very very nice visualization of the gravitational potential and how the gravitational field derives from the potential if you want to have a look at this in two dimensions removing the third dimension representing the height we can go here so here we have the gravitational potential drawn as the uh, represented using colors and you can see the lines of equipotential lines which will be circles and then you can see the gravitational field or the gradient of the potential which are these arrows pointing always in the radial direction so when you add the minus sign to achieve the the gradient because remember that the gravitational the gravitational field is the minus gradient of the potential so when you add that minus sign you would get the gravitational field pointing towards the mass okay Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.